Hello there and thanks for tuning in. Well, it is time to try out a new game. It's not entirely new, but I haven't played this before and I'm playing it because recently, due to the Netflix show Arcane, I've gotten into the League of Legends story. Which sounds kind of weird because like two or three years ago, I didn't even, I wouldn't even have thought that League of Legends has like that much of a story. But I was really fascinated by Arcane. It's a great show. If you haven't watched it, uh, do so, please. It's it's just great. Um, and I have never, ever played League of Legends. I watched a few matches uh, when there was like a tournament on TV or something. But I have no clue about the game. But I love Arcane. I like uh, Mage Seeker, which is another game I tried, came out recently, uh, I uploaded a video of me trying that out, and now it's time to try Ruin King, came out, I think, two or three years ago, and it's, um, it's a turn-based strategy game, which is a genre I really, really like, so let's get into that, I'm going to pick the normal difficulty, and so let's see what happens. I'm really looking forward because Mexico is really cool. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heralds. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Islands. Each time, the heralds return strong, while the Buru grow distant. Pretty cool. Still don't know much about the story. Uh, and what fascinated me was that this game has a certain twist on the turn-based strategy combat with lanes. I don't know much about that system, but I'm always into games that add a little to the formula. So let's see what this does. I like the graphic style already. It does remind me of Arcane a little bit. Also has some similarities to Mage Seeker. So yeah. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us. Taking appointments, attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true. But when he was Weaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate, and the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. Alrighty, so hopefully I should be able to move now. I'm not quite sure how much I like the voice acting, but I think it does fit. 
Okay. It's WASD controls. Okay. So I'm scanning, seeing what I can interact with. Oops. Gotta get used to these controls. I like the graphic style. Looks pretty cool. They didn't remind me so damn much. Alrighty, so in case that any of these characters are League of Legend heroes or something, I wouldn't know. Mentioned before, I have not played the game before. And so, yeah, I guess I'm a total noob. But it doesn't matter because. I would like to try out this game and see whether it works for someone who isn't into League of Legends. See, you've been doing some remodeling. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer. Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you, my fleet and all of my men, or else... Huh. Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen. Standing, it looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know, I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy it. Right, guess that's my combat tutorial. Like that graphic style as well. So. You will initiate a combat encounter when engaging enemies in the world and at major story moments. Fighter cards display key stats, level, health, and mono. The initiative bar displays the order in which the fighters will perform actions. When a fighter's portrait reaches the front of the initia uh, initiative bar, it's their turn. When it's your fighter's turn, you can perform one of the many combat abilities. Instant abilities do not cost mana and are performed immediately after confirming a target. Lane abilities cost mana and require time to cast. Pay attention to the fighter tur um, turn order when selecting abilities. Complete this wave of combat defeating all enemies. Alrighty. So here I've got lane ones. Let's see how that... I can actually do that one. 150 damage. And I'm gonna select this guy. And still can't do the command. That was pretty cool. So now it's their turn, I guess. And let's try an instant one. Will not kill him, but still. It did. Guess a critter because it said 55 damage. He had 67 HP. Alright, so let's try the same strategy here. 
Oh, this is going to be a little more complicated. Let's try this. So it's his turn first. And then mine. So let us try another instant one. Yeah, the lane system is an interesting twist on the whole thing. Generate overcharge by performing certain instant abilities. Overcharge acts like temporary bonus mana that can be used to cast lane abilities during an encounter only. When you're low on mana, generate overcharge and stay in a fight. Okay, so let's do, let's use some instant abilities. His turn now. Ouch. So let me try this one, reducing damage I get. His turn again. Okay, so I guess he's charging an attack. I'm following the instructions and doing some instant abilities. Right, use the potion. It's his turn, he's loading. So, charging up his attack. Generates 10 overcharge. I guess next I should try to use one of the lane abilities. Once again, I like the art style. Combat isn't too complicated yet, but I think that the whole lane thing will add a little more of a twist there. I don't know if you've heard about a game called Chained Echoes, which is this little indie game by a German developer. It's like a love letter to JRPGs, and that one had a mechanism where you had to balance a bar by using your certain abilities um, in a turn-based combat system. And that was an interesting twist, something else you needed to consider, other than just staying alive and killing enemies, you had to balance that. And that was really cool, and I wonder whether the lanes will be just as cool and interesting, or like a an addition that makes sense when it comes to turn-based combat. Boys, does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorn, I'd say this meeting is adjourned. Yeah, take no prisoners, huh? The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. Betray me. Or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. Well, yeah, I guess that's the way you have to... That's the kind of leadership style that you have to have when you're Successful dealing with pirates. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns... But none of their leaders. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune. Ready? 
Rathen? The enemy has a buff called Prime Mismon that will detonate and hurt your party upon death unless it's first example for speed lane ability. Selecting lane ability you can switch from the default balance lane to the speed lane or power lane using the lane up and lane down buttons. Performing an ability in the speed lane will reduce its cast time so it can perform more quickly but with weaker impact. Performing an ability in the power lane will increase its cast time. Oh wow. So this is something that needs um that you yeah, need to get used to so fast lane of course you get to attack quicker but you do less damage and power lane more damage but later attack longer wind up i guess okay so poison me let's go for power lane balance lane speed lane All right, just pelt. So that is gone. Guess I can see that stuff on their card, right? No, it can't. I saw a little buff there. I think I should be able to take her out now with this. So, what else can I do? It's packed mode. Ah, okay, and I can do quick attacks, I guess. Can also move with the mouse, which is handy. Right clicks. And another enemy. Now let's see where I can actually see that both they have. While stand your end of the combat encounter while standing in a hazard called Poison Mist. This has created a hazard initiative for our region and will travel along with the fighter portraits. Fighters and your party that are inside of the region will be targeted. Once the region reaches the front of the bar, it will apply its effect to any of your fighters that are currently targeted. Luckily, you can use lane abilities to switch lanes and maneuver in and out of initiative bar regions. Take control of your fighter placement on your initiative bar and take control of the battle. Right, so I guess... Should first... Take care of this with fast lane attack and get rid of her buff dispelled all right okay so let's try that again and risk it going for the power one And here's my turn. Thing I didn't get is like it said, you know, take care of your lanes and, and avoid the poison mist, but the mist is actually covering all lanes. One HP left. Guess she does that little emote like that at the end of every combat. Okay, so he's dead.
Oh, this is interesting. I didn't heal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm wondering... How do I avoid the mist? Oh, I think I do know how. Oh, well, I can't do now because... Because I already had to use a potion. Let's see if I can hit him before he hits me. I can tell this is a pretty cool uh, mechanic. I haven't quite figured it out yet with those hazard zones. But uh, it's interesting to balance like your, your speed and your damage. Because now uh, if I would have used the power lane, the enemy would have attacked me first. But since I used the speed lane, um, I was able to kill him before he killed me. And by the way, yes, I do know that lanes actually are something from League of Legends. And I think it's kind of cool that they used that name here. Alright, Poison Mist again. These enemies have the shifting form, which enhances their abilities to uh, evade your attacks, but can be discovered by attacking the speed lane ability. Important buff description will be displayed in the combat interface. These buffs require a deeper strategy to overcome. While in inspect mode, you can navigate between the initiative bar and the fighter cards to get details on abilities and active buffs and debuffs. Be sure to inspect enemies during encounters to learn more about their strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so shifting form. Dispel when hit with a speed lane attack. Transfer essence on death increases attack power of all allies by 25% for 3 turns. Okay. So I need to use a speed lane attack. Yeah, now I'm gonna take poison damage again. So let me use the potion. If, uh, if that kills it, I can kill it before it attacks me. Nope, but the other one is that. But now it does more damage. And it's going to attack me. 29 damage, okay. So let's use an instant attack. Alrighty, so I guess here's my group then, huh? Now I'll have to find Wraithen. Now, my first impression is this is pretty cool. Um, I do like the whole mechanism thing with the lanes. I do like the art style. I'm not quite sure about the voice acting yet, but I bet you get to see more. And um, I, at this point, I think the chained echo uh, mechanism with balancing the bar you know staying in a certain area of a bar that goes forth and back depending on the abilities you use is more interesting but this line thing i think i just need to get used to it and experiment with it what happened? What happened? so let's Run. see Leave me. and another rat I think I should heal first. I 
Maybe I'm missing something, but the, that thing is throwing me off about the whole thing with the with the fuck, how to avoid that now. So what if I take one that doesn't attack? Oh, it didn't hit me. Okay, so I have to make sure that I get behind that poison face on the bar. Let me try that again. All right, so lane attack. And this should put me behind the whole thing. They're gonna attack me now. Not gonna be able to kill me. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so I have to remember that when I'm in one of those zones, I have to get behind that hazard effect on the lane. Alrighty, so he now is tapped and that means that he's going to take double damage. So let's try love tap. Didn't kill him. That's too bad. I figured it would kill him, but I made it behind the made it through the, the poison thing without it hitting me so I can kill it now nope I can't because I missed of course it's gonna hit me now alrighty so let's try another instant one and hope it hits it did cool okay so I'm slowly getting getting a hang of the lane system and yes, it does make sense. It's not just some mechanism. Hey, just let put some something we can call lanes in there because lanes are used in League of Legends. It actually does make sense. Sarah. Don't talk. Save your strength. I thought we beat those things in Grey Harbor. Could it be another harrowing? I don't know. But if it is. They're going to need help. They're going to need Lawi. Righty. So I guess that was the tutorial. Wonder how to heal in between converts. Brothers and sisters, a new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth banner. This Blood Harbor Ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear, the stagnation he brings. We honor the Mother Serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Pray the goddess. Truth banner, I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the Mother Serpent may name you with. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. Strong priestess. He may live. Perhaps if the goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. Yeah, I guess I'll get to meet these people. So here I am. These streets are full of Wasn't Bilchwater the area where the prison was in Arcane? I think so, right? I think if you are a League of Legends fan and you know all this, you're probably face palming slot. I can hear it from here. They have many interesting desires. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their tapas. Do not be ashamed. 
Next time I will join you. Now let us follow the rhythms of this music. Well, I really do like the art style, I have to say. It's quite atmospheric. We will wait outside. No need to get Pelangi stink on us. <laughs> More for me then. Okay, so new character. Roll healing damage defense. Powerful, uh, it always powerful physique is dwarfed only by her indomitable faith as the pri priestess of the great kraken she uses a huge golden idol to draw power from the spirits of her enemies while restoring and protecting her allies all who challenge the truth bearer of Naga Kobor uh, nagaka boros soon discover that eloi never battles alone the god of the serpent isles fight by her sights So she can understand Buru Gloss, whatever it is. Her dungeon ability, Tentacle Slam, damages enemies and allows Eloi to initiate battle with a tentacle already active. As a priestess of Nagaka Boros, Eloi can both smite her enemies and restore her allies. She summons tentacles to attack her enemies. <clears throat> and using taunt. Okay, she's got a taunt there. All right, so I guess next I'm going to explore with her and find the ship captain. So far, I am enjoying the combat system. I'm looking forward to see where the story goes. And I'm glad I checked out this game because this might be just like Chained Echoes. Could be really interesting when it comes to adding a new interesting twist to turn-based strategy. So I'll check it out and maybe so should you if you're into this thank you for watching and i will see you next time